Yo, welcome back, Zykor here, and today in this video, <laughs> I'll be checking out Racing Glider, uh, kind of a new game that was just released recently that it seems kind of interesting. It's a futuristic um, game, well, racing game, <laughs> uh, like a rally game is what it says, anti-gravity rally cross. Uh, looks like, I, according to the page, there's only like two vehicles available, but seems like it's a pretty small game. But I figured I'd try to use my gamepad on this, see what happens. Um, so, let's see here. Um, are these, is this tracks? Yeah, it looks like tracks. Classic or reverse? Ah, okay. So, okay, so this is like the car selection. So, I see the Wind Ranger is the the car-like, and the Mantis is the motorcycle-like. So. Okay, so this is the track. I might as well just select the track on the Wind Ranger first. Because that seems like the cooler one, in my opinion. <laughs> so, let's see how this works. Is it loading? I hope it's loading. <laughs> ah, so that's the controls. Start, pause, retry, brake, reverse, accelerate, boost, rotate camera. Otherwise, it's the it's a QSD Z. Okay, that's a strange keyboard. That's an Azerty keyboard. Wow, I haven't actually seen that. <laughs> okay. Glad I'm using my gamepad. <laughs> okay, so it looks like the triggers are for accelerate. Yeah. A is to boost. How can you boost and rotate your camera at the same time ish? Well, I guess it could work. <laughs> we'll see. Well, let's try it. Is, that's a really slow acceleration. I mean, I got my finger all the way down on the trigger. Okay, so it's... So where's the brake? Okay, the brake is the left trigger, and accelerate is the right trigger. But the acceleration seems to be somewhat slow. So it's not like it's oriented towards speed. And I expect, yeah, you let off the accelerator, help you to go around turns. And then there's also brake, of course. I don't know what boost does. I should try that on a straightaway. I like the graphics in it. But the... I mean... Turning is somewhat limited. It's stiff turning. It turns rather slow. Check out the boost on this. What is this? Okay, so you hold down A to boost and... Oh, I... Okay, so I collided once is what it said. Max speed, zero. I was not going zero. <laughs> I only got a silver. Okay, let's... 
Okay, so I can go on to the next track. Well, I guess let's head on to the next track. Let's see if I can get gold on any of these tracks. It looks like you hold down A to boost. Rotate camera. It actually doesn't seem like I need that. <laughs> and why is the car rocking in this? <laughs> That's weird. Three. Okay. So, and this just, so pressing pause just does this. Resume settings menu. I wonder what's on the menu. So it's pretty slow accelerate. I mean, I pressed that as soon as it said start and it was just, you know, kind of slow, but. It seems like the tracks are, are made for the, you know, the low, the slow turning radius, maybe? Looks like it kind of turns a little bit more as the longer you hold it. Eh, 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 no! I collided once. Okay, it looks like... Yeah, it looks like it just uses the trigger and it's it's not um I got one of those triggers that has a no what is it an accelerometer on it wait is that that's not what it is you can press it a variable amount on the trigger and it, so it doesn't look like the acceleration in here or throttle is varying. The brake is also on the, the, a trigger as well, but it doesn't look like you can vary the amount. Let's see the boost on this. Boost doesn't make you seem like you're going too much faster. So it doesn't have that that feeling of in, of intense speed <laughs> that you get in some other games. I mean, I like the visuals. The visuals are nice, but I think the racing could use work. The music is kind of outweighing the sound of the car. No metals. No metals. I took too long? Huh. Oh, okay. So at the top there, it tells you what you need. So it, you have to get to get platinum, you'd, it would take one minute minute and 18 seconds underneath I mean, under that huh okay so I guess I gotta try again let's try this again okay see if I can do this. I don't know if there's... It doesn't seem like there's any type of boost. I'd have to get around it in 1 minute and 18 seconds. I honestly don't think I can do that. <laughs> No. Ooh. <laughs> I like the design of the car, though. It is pretty cool. 
Well, that collision probably cost me platinum if I was even able to get it to begin with. It takes good braking. And it looks like your boost lasts only a certain amount of time. Got to break at the right points. I don't know where, like, a boost gauge is, if there is one. They should have, like, a boost gauge. Probably gonna miss out on the 118. Not a bad lap though. I think I did pretty good, except for that for that one collision. See if I can at least get gold. Come on, where's the where's the finish line? Seems like it needs work. Okay, so I got bronze. Bronze? I guess man, wow. That really, that really ruined, uh, ruined my ranking. Okay, so I unlocked the next one. Let's check this one out. The visuals are pretty nice in here though. I do like that. I like the car design. The levels are pretty interesting. They look kind of cool as well. I just think the controls are a little bit I mean, it feels like the turning is sluggish on it. Ah, I didn't get it. <laughs> I messed up there. Forgot to press the throttle instead I pressed boost. Not a lot of uh, sharp turns or anything, though, so. It's, I mean, I guess you could say it's one of the more relaxed racing games. <laughs> if you can even have a relaxed racing game. Wonder if you can catch some air. Nope, looks like it's stuck to the road. It does say I'm going 280 some kilometers, though. Ooh, I hit the side. Nuts. Doesn't look like there's vehicle damage either, but I mean, I guess that's okay, I guess. I'm okay with that. That really hurt my time though. Eh, eh, no, I hit the side again. I'm probably not using my boost to the fullest. Because, I mean, Looks like there is an energy bar, I guess, down in the lower right. That's probably your boost. Yeah. Goes down. No! I hit the side. <laughs> I'm gonna get, I'm gonna fail this one. No, stay away from the side. Yeah, the the turning is feels kinda sluggish. But, you know, maybe that's intended. I don't know. Maybe the, so that, you know, you kind of have to, that's the, 
the challenge of it. Turning at the right spot. And, and wait, what? Yeah, okay, so best looks like the best time for all the levels is like 118. Huh. Now let's try it again. I guess I should try the bike. I should do that next. After I complete this one, I'll try the bike. Okay, let's go. Let's see here. Wonder if you can get a like a boost right off the bat. I wonder what's better, braking or letting off the accelerator. see how good I can do on this. Stay away from that side. Use the boost whenever I can. Hopefully they Maybe adds like customization. That'd be nice. I do, and the I kind of like the music too. It's pretty good. But I do think that they can tone down the volume of the music because it's overriding the vehicle. Otherwise, it's a really cool concept. It's like, uh, what is it? Wipeout. For the old PlayStation. Looks like it's probably based on that. Of course, the strange thing is I, I know I know I've seen Wipeout, but I never actually played it. Wish I could have actually. Although actually, I think I, I think I do have one of the Wipeout games for the original PlayStation. No, I just missed. That was a pretty good lap. I just missed the. Uh, actually, I just missed gold. I got 121. Ah, I was just over. Ah, that's too bad. Okay, I'll try the Mantis now quick. Because, I mean, I haven't tried that yet. This is supposed to be the, the motorcycle-like. But it looks like these are different tracks, too. Than the... With the ra Wind Ranger. So let's see about this original track. That's kind of interesting. I do like the car better, I think. Although this seems to have better acceleration starting out. Might have a little bit better turning too. I do wonder what the difference is between the two. Almost hit the sides there. It's a little bit different in control. And if you turn at the right time, no, I collided. <laughs> if you turn at the right time, you'll you can get it. You can uh, you can time it so that you go around the turn at the right without hitting the corner. Yeah. But of course, you know, that's in any racing game now, isn't it? I'm 
gonna say though that the this seems like it has better handling. I haven't even used the boost yet. I only used the boost once. That was only 55 seconds. Ah, oh, I see. So I, I bet the bike has better better speed. And why is it just floating around and, and <laughs> going off the track? That's weird. Let's check out this next track. Yeah, it seems like this has better handling and maybe top speed. I'll have to check out the speed. Yeah, it's got really f fast acceleration off the line. A lot faster than the other car. I mean, the Wind Ranger, I should say. But looking at the top speed, it looks like it's about the same as the Wind Ranger. I wonder if you can drift. Ah, I hit the side? Nuts. That's kind of cool. I don't think you can drift. It didn't seem like it. So the boost gets it up to 300. Interesting. kind of an interesting track. I I like the trees and the scenery though, it's nice. I can even I can even use the boost around the corner there. Huh. But I do think it could use a throttle because then you can go around turns without, you know, slowing down as much, maybe. But then I assume most people would probably just uh, let off the accelerator entirely anyway. I bet I failed this one. <laughs> Oh, wow. Oh, okay, I got silver. Huh, not bad. Okay. And why is that unlocked? Huh. Looks kind of cool. Looks like there's some dirt pads, not just road. Oh, that, that's because it's a rally. Well, let's check out this one quick and then that's probably it. It's a pretty cool game. I do like it. I think it has a lot of improving, though. And they don't. They probably don't need to show you the controls at the beginning of every ma every. Oops, <laughs> wrong button. I hit the boost instead. <laughs> I wonder what happens if you hit uh, accelerate and boost at the same time at the beginning. Hmm. That's something to check out. Yeah, I do like these scenic paths though. These are nice. No. I hit the side. <laughs> but I can say it doesn't give you that that feeling of being on the edge of your seat like a lot of other racing games can. Um, I think, I, I mean, I've played NFS and stuff and it doesn't quite give you the same feeling because it doesn't give you that, I mean, it doesn't render that sense of speed. Everything kind of just moves by slightly slow. I mean, you're supposed to be going 260 kilometers an hour, but the trees aren't going by very fast, nor are this, is the rest of the scenery. So it doesn't give you that sense of speed that, you, that you'd get 
if you were actually going that fast. Now I expect if they rendered it going by too fast, you know, it'd be hard, too hard to control. But maybe they could use some special effects to, you know, make it feel like it's going faster. It looks like they try it. There's like a little bit of a, what is it? What are those streaks? Like they're trying to do like a motion blur type thing or something or like stuff on your HUD. Okay, I got bronze on that one. <laughs> but, oh well. Okay, so it seems it's an interesting game. Uh, pretty cool. I like the I like the vehicles. I like the scenery, but it looks like it has a few glitches. I mean, like, what is this? <laughs> yeah, the the w tracks I've unlocked were up here and here, so yeah, it's a little bit glitchy. <laughs> but yeah, that is Racing Glider. Uh, it's a it's a cool concept, but it's got some improvement to do. <laughs> A lot of room for improvement. So, uh, yeah. If you like this video, hit that like button. I really appreciate it. It really helps me out a lot. If you haven't already, subscribe. And hit that bell icon. And leave a comment. Let me know what you think of the game. And how you think it... How you think it looks like it plays to you. And, yeah. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you next time.